Hello everyone, I'm Yoji Takeuchi, a Deputy Director of the Department of uh, Gastrointestinal Oncology in Osaka International Cancer Institute, Japan. I'm the corresponding author of this paper, and here is the uh, first author of this paper, uh, Satoki. Hello, I'm Satoki, the Chief Physician of the same department. I'm working with Yoji for six years. Uh, thank you, Satoki. Uh, on behalf of all co-authors, it's my great pleasure to discuss our paper titled Performance of Perioperative Antibiotics Against Post-Endoscopic Submucosal Dissection Coagulation Syndrome, a multi-center randomized control trial. This multi-center trial included 21 Japanese tertiary institutions and showed that perioperative administration of antibiotics for collector ESD did not significantly decrease the incidence of post-ESD coagulation syndrome namely PECS, PECS. So we concluded that routine administration of antibiotics for colorectal ESD is not recommended. We started this project in 2018. As you know, ESD, even for colorectal ESD, is widely performed in Japan. Colon is much dirtier than other GI organs, and some ESD operators theoretically administered antibiotics before and after colorectal ESD routinely but we had no evidence about it. One single center randomized control trial from Korea reported that efficacy of routine administration of antibiotics to prevent PECs in patients undergoing colorectal ESD. However, it was just a single center study and the sample size was small to conclude the efficacy of antibiotics. So we considered that we should investigate it in a multi-center randomized control trial with large sample size. Since Japan is famous for ESD and we have been doing many colorectal ESD cases, uh, we thought we had to investigate this topic in Japan. We had a responsibility to do it. We were fortunate uh, because we had a lovely investigator group, a Kansai Endoscopic Device Selection Con Conference in Kansai Research Group and many friends to collaborate with us. Especially ex-president of this group, uh, Dr. Kiyohito Tanaka, and current president, Professor uh, Masayuki Kitano, were very supportive uh, of management of uh, this, this study. I sincerely appreciate them. Contrary to our expectations, study enrollment progressed very well. Before study enrollment, we plan to need four years for case accumulation. However, we could complete it in only two years. I'm very grateful to our patients, co-authors, data center, and collaborators for their contributions. At the beginning of this study, there were several cases with perforation, and we had to ask the data and safety monitoring committee to decide whether or not to continue the study enrollment. However, thanks to the careful procedures, the number of population cases decreased and we have completed the study. Since our results were negative, we were afraid our manuscript to be rejected in major journal. However, our reviewers of uh, GIE kindly understood our in intentions and the significance of this study. So all the comments from reviewers were constructive to improve our manuscript and support it. A manuscript improved by their suggestion. We appreciate them from the bottom of our hearts. We can apply our results only for colorectal ESD and we are unsure about applying for the other organs. However, the colorectum is the dirtiest part in human and ESD is one of the most invasive endoscopic procedures. So we believe we can apply our results to the other endoscopic procedures. Even though we don't recommend routine administration of antibiotics for colorectal ESD, but you should consider the situation case by case. In case of high-risk procedures for perforation, you can use antibiotics just in case. I think this is the largest scale multi-center randomized control trial on colorectal ESD so far. And the data shows a real-world colorectal ESD outcomes. Unfortunately, we could not find an effective strategy for the prevention of PECs in a character ESD. Next, we would like to consider other methods for preventing PECs such as endoscopic wound closure. Thank you very much for your kind attention and if you have any questions or advice, please don't hesitate to contact us. 
as the corresponding author, my email address is written in the paper. Uh, by the way, why you have a pen and um, apple? Yes, the title of our study is Performance of Perioperative Antibiotics Against Post-Endoscopic Submucosal Dissection Coagulation Syndrome. And the code name was PPAP. So I have a pen and I have an apple. I see. So I have a pen and I have a pineapple. Thank, Thank you. you.